Good morning. Welcome to our Strong and Sturdy podcast today. Hope you're having a great day. And I hope you uh, 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 pay attention how God, how good God has been to you and in your life. Got to go out on uh, Saturday uh, with my one of my daughters. And our second door in, we met a man named Jesus. And if you could pray for him, he lost, he told me he lost his daughter, Spanish man told me he lost his daughter about, oh goodness, a month and a half ago. And God brought us there at the right place at the right time. They trusted Christ as his savior. And I'm hoping he'll come out with his family soon. But what a wonderful thing that is uh, to be where God wants you to be and end up in the uh, place God wants you to be. There's no greater feeling in the world than uh, uh, being used by God. And anybody can be used by God. Uh, they got to want to. Now I want to bring to you a verse this morning. Acts chapter 8 verse 21. Uh, Thou hast neither part nor lot in this matter, for thy heart is not right in the sight of God. Thy heart is not right in the sight of God. God, a question for you this morning, is your heart right with God? Is your heart in the place where God can use it, where God can mold it? Is your heart surrendered to God? And uh, now we could be on topic like this all day, but I picked four things this morning that I believe will be a help to regarding uh, uh, your heart and whether or not it's right with God. Our heart must be right with God when it comes to the things of God. If it's not, we're going to make poor choices. If it's not right with God, we're going to go a different direction. We're going to do things that otherwise we wouldn't do if our heart was right with God. And many people, they come to church. They uh, read their Bible. They, they, uh, well, they would say they read their Bible. They say they have a prayer life. But it's evident their heart is not right with God by the life that they live. My friend, it's important that you have your heart right with God. David, King David, was known as a man after God's own heart. And many times when David shifted and, and fell into sin, he got his heart back where it needed to be. He got his heart back in line with God and his relationship with him. Four things this morning that I believe would be helped to. Number one, a person whose heart is not right asks God for things that benefit them, not others. What's your prayer time consist of? Does it consist of 100%? God, give me this. Many people say, oh, God, uh, I wish God would give me a million dollars. Well, a million dollars, God knows, wouldn't benefit uh, uh, him. It would benefit you. And so the re question is, why are you asking for it? So you can be benefited by a blessing that God gives. My friend, if, uh, uh, you're asking for things that benefit you, that uh, uh, puts you in a higher spotlight. Why would God give those to you? And uh, it's not something that comes out of a heart that's yielded to God, that comes out of a heart that's carnal, heart that's, uh, 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 chasing the things of this world. I want to be rich. God doesn't make people rich just to make people rich, just to benefit them. And uh, God says, I want your heart to be right. This uh, sorcerer that said, came to Paul, or excuse me, came to Peter and said, hey, uh, how much do I need to give you in order that I can receive this Holy Ghost? Man, I can make a dollar off it. I could, I could have a good uh, income if I had this kind of power. And Peter said, this is not for you. Your heart's not right with God. You're trying to make a personal gain off the things of God. And my friend, that's just, God's, God's not going to let that happen. And you got to understand that your heart has to be right with God. If you find yourself asking for things that are beneficial to you, that are going to benefit you versus others, and that's a that's a, ta ta uh, that's a sign that your heart is not right with God. Number two, a person whose heart is right with uh, whose heart is not right with God tries to get the recognition instead of giving it to God. When you do things, uh, uh, who do you want to get the glory? Are you okay if God gets all the glory and you get nothing, or do you want to stick your head in there, stick your head in there and see if you can get a little bit. Well, uh, I did this and, and I accomplished this and I did this. Your heart's not right with God. It's called pride. And pride 
says, well, uh, if I can get some of the glory, if I can get some of the honor, if I can get some of the accolades and the, and the hand clapping, and if I can get the standing ovation, man, that'll be wonderful. I'm going to do this to see if I can get a standing ovation. I'm going to do this to see if I can uh, get people to uh, 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 think I'm a great person, my friend. Your heart's not right with God. And uh, heart right with God is going to say, well, I hope God gets the glory, all the glory. I'll do this for him. I'll do it. If I never get accolades, if I never get recognition, if I, uh, I, I, I work for God. And I work for the praise and honor of God and God alone. And that's a sign that your heart is not right with God. Number three, a person whose heart is not right with God uh, steps on others to get ahead. Oh, what a sad day uh, and time it is that when Christians, when believers step on other people in order to advance their agenda, when they, in order to advance their life, their position, my friend, you ought never to step on somebody else in order to get ahead. And uh, that's a sign, a telltale sign that your heart is not in the right place. Your heart is not with God. It's with trying to get yourself ahead. My friend, your heart needs to be in the right place in order to advance the cause of Christ and uh, not your cause. Advance the cause that God has laid down, not your agenda. And that your heart's right with God, you'll want to advance. And you want to advance God's uh, cause and build up others along the way. And take them along with you. And it doesn't care if Bob besides you gets a little bit more praise and glory than you. You're not doing it for the praise and glory. You're doing it for God. Somebody who's doing it for them, someone who's doing it for them to get ahead, they don't care if they step on the next person in front. They don't care if they destroy their life. They don't care if, uh, 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 if, if uh, uh, they... They trample over and, and get ahead at their expense. Their heart's not right with God. And neither is yours if you do such a thing. And your heart ought to be, a uh, uh, heart that's right with God ought to be, God, I want to praise and glorify you, and I want to build others up and bring them along and uh, push them up. Maybe they can get a little closer to you. Maybe they can do something greater. Maybe they can uh, see what God can use their life to do. Number four, a person whose heart is not right with God. Not lastly, the thing sets the things of this world higher than the things of God. I know somebody who's not right with God when they set the world's things higher than God's things. When they set the job higher than the house of God. When they set the uh, purchasing of worldly goods higher than the tithing and giving to the things of God. When they... Uh, value family time over God time. They say, I don't have time to walk with God. I got to spend time with my family. I don't have time to go to church. I got to pay the bills. I don't have time to go soul winning. I have to go on vacation. My friend, your heart's not right with God if that's you. And your heart, your heart uh, a heart that's right with God is going to say, man, I'm going to go to church. I want to spend time with God. I want to be in His Word. I want to spend time in prayer. I want to sell, see, uh, tell others about Christ. The heart that's right with God. Not so, not so they can get praise and, acc uh, and accolades. And keep in mind, you can uh, do the things of God for praise and accolades. And, uh, and it can uh, sidetrack you. When you chase those things, uh, of God for your own personal benefit. For example, I can go out soul winning for me. I can go out soul winning to tell the pastor, hey, I went out soul winning. I just want to let everybody know. I can stand up in front of the congregation and say, I just want to let you know I read my Bible and prayed for for six months. Aren't you proud of me? My, head, my friend, I'll tell you one thing. My heart won't be right with God. And uh, whatever praise and glory and honor you're giving to yourself, it's a flag that says, hey, something's not right with that heart. Whether you're an adult, whether you're a teenager. Oh, I'm going to put that person down in order to get ahead. Your heart's not right with God. Oh, I'm going to uh, do what I want instead of what God wants. Your heart's not right with God. 
All right, that's right with God. We'll fall right in line with the things of God. We'll want to do what God says. When God says, hey, I want you to jump. And we say, you know what? My heart's right with you. How high do you want me to jump? Where do you want me to go? What do you want me to do? What do you want me to say? What do you want me to think? What music do you want me to listen to? When your heart's right with God. Somebody who's not right with God, when the preaching of the word is spoken, they get all bitter and upset. They get angry. They get into a, a fit. Because their heart's not right with God. But a Christian, a believer whose heart is right with God, who is where it is where it's supposed to be, and the Christian will say, God, what do you want? Paul's heart was right with God. You go into the next chapter, Paul gets saved. And he asked the question, Lord, what wilt thou have me to do? His heart was in the right place. His heart was right with God. God, what do you want me to do? I'll do whatever you want me to do. And uh, a right heart. Is your heart right with God this morning? I hope it is. If it's not, you better get it right. It'll hinder you. It'll hinder you in your walk with God. It'll hinder you in your ministry. It'll hinder you in your relationship with others. Get your heart right with God. And things will be fall into place. Well, that's a blessing. I hope that's a help to you. If I can do anything for you, let me know. We've got service tonight, 7 o'clock. Love to see you. And uh, be where you're supposed to be. Have a great day and God bless.